Welcome to Engineers Academy. Subscribe to my channel and click on the bell icon to receive the notification for the upcoming videos. Now we are going to solve this problem 286. So in this problem it is said that under non-uniform and slippery road conditions, the two forces shown are exerted on the two rear drive wheels of the pickup truck. So these are the two forces that are applied on the rear wheels. And we, it is said that which has a limited slip rear differential so we need to determine the y intercept of the resultant of this force system right so we will find the y intercept of the line of action of the resultant force right and here in this diagram it is given that this is that point g that is the center of mass or center of gravity of this truck right so this is that point g so now if uh, if we want to find the resultant of these two forces, so what we will do, we will apply this equation. So resultant will be equal to summation of all forces and our x will be equal to summation of all forces along x. So as we can see that both of these two forces are along x, right? So they are towards the positive x axis. This is the positive x axis. So I will write that our x is equal to and both are towards the positive x axis. So I will write 50 plus 100 right so our x will be equal to 150 pounds right and similarly if we want to find our y so our y will be equal to summation of all forces along y so our y in this case is zero there is no force along y right so if we want to find the magnitude of r so it will be equal to our x square plus our y square under the root 2 so our y is equal to 0 so we will be only left with the magnitude of our x so this will be 150 pounds so this is the magnitude of r right and if you want to represent this r as a vector so it will be 150 i plus 0 j right so this is the vector representation of the result right now we will find the total moment about g right so now as we can see that this force this force 50 pound force is producing clockwise moment and this 100 pound force is producing counterclockwise moment so let's assume that the counterclockwise moment is positive so i will write 100 and the perpendicular distance of this 100 from this point g is this much this is 30 inches so i will multiply this by 30 Right, and similarly, the 50 pound force is producing the clockwise moment, so I will write minus 50 into the perpendicular distance of this 50 is also 30, right? So I will write 30. So this will be equal to, so this comes out to be 1500 pound inches, right? And since the this the sign is positive, so this means that this is counterclockwise moment, right? So now, if you want to replace these two forces by a force couple system, so what we will do, we will draw a resultant of 150 pounds in the positive x direction, and we will represent this uh, moment about g, right? So let me draw that free body diagram. Let me move it here. So let's suppose if this is that point g, right? and this is the positive x-axis and this is the positive y-axis so now we will represent this resultant and moment as a force couple system right so what i will do i will draw that force in the positive x direction and the magnitude of this r is 150 pounds right and counterclockwise moment so we will represent that moment as well right so this is that moment Mom meant about g and this is equal to 1500 pound inches and now we will replace this force couple system right by a single force so what we will do we will find the perpendicular distance of this r from this point g so that it should produce this same moment right so i will write that r into d should be equal to the moment about g and we will use the magnitude of this moment so d uh, we can write that this d instead of d i will write y right so right so that will give us the y intercept so y 
So the perpendicular distance of R from the G point is let's suppose Y, right? So we will find that Y. So it will be mg divided by R. So it will be 1500 divided by 150. So we will get 10 inches, right? So now we will replace this four, a force couple system by a single force. So what we will do is that we will remove this uh, moment right and we will move this resultant vector in perpendicular direction to this g and that perpendicular distance should be 10 inches right so we will move this uh, resultant in such a direction in order to produce this much moment and the direction of that moment should be counterclockwise right so let me move this r so if I move it in this perpendicular direction, right? So if I move it to this point, right? So if if we see, so in this location, it will produce the clockwise moment. So this is not the accurate position, right? So what I will do, I will move it in the negative y direction, right? So let's suppose if I put it here somewhere. So this will be that 10 inches distance. So if I will write that this distance is 10 inches. This is that y distance and it is equal to 10 inches and if you want to find the intercept that is the y intercept or the coordinates of this point where the line of action of this force intersect with the y axis so the coordinates of this will be 0 and it will be minus 10 right so this is so in the answer we will write there the y distance from g is minus 10 right so it is in the negative direction right so we will write that r is equal to 150 pounds and y intercept is equal to minus 10 inches so this is the solution of this problem